welcome back! Um, in this installment of the series, we're going to head north into Area C1, because there's supposed to be a pass which has a lot of empty caravans, or has a lot of... is a place where a lot of caravans are supposed to lay after they've been ransacked by bandits. Um, we might need some of the, some of the goods that are left behind, so... We're going to be out here, taking our way through whatever caravan we can find, searching through the forest that's to the north of Sorpico. And hopefully we find some. Hopefully anyways, your fingers crossed. Caravans, at least one before we run out of time here, and to show you just generally where they are inside of this area, and so that way you know where to start looking for them on your own. sound like a wuss whenever I say it. If I saw that coming towards me, I would be running screaming in the other direction. Yeah. That's just hideous. Yeah, I know the trolls aren't supposed to look pretty, but man, that's, that's pretty ugly there. I mean, what are those things coming off of his hands? Like, no, oh, whatever. They're dead now. Hopefully, they stay that way. Ah, shoot. Um, remember, to search after you kill things off. Don't move off the same square like I did because that causes the loot to despawn, and that is something you don't want to happen. Always remember to search after every fight. You know, even if you run- apparently there's even like a little glitch where if you run away from a fight, you can still search for treasure even, as it'll find it as if you've won the fight. Whatever. It's gonna be so good to get that watchdog spell, finally. Um, in case you're wondering, I have both of my night, night class characters both using flame burges. I just like the extra damage, especially since they since it gets multiplied with the extra attacks per round. And down they go.
10, I'm not sure what stage you thought it was just random treasure or what have you. Yeah, it was just random treasure. Sword, sword, short sword. Either. Other than fire breathing crocodiles, and breathing. They did a pretty good job with the artwork on that. I mean, I'm definitely feeling intimidated. I didn't check before I... Uh, wait. Yeah, there goes our party. Remember to always keep an eye for those in the back. If you don't take them out before they come to the front, you might as well just turn off the game. Remember that. Just watch out for them. Don't be like me. Don't avoid what you're happening right now. Well, again, remember, watch out for those locust plagues. They love to hide in the back, and don't don't feel bad if they take you out. They're they're really cheap in this version of the NES. I, I don't know how they were on the PC version, but I can only imagine that they would have stopped and they would have went, "Hey, this is unfair to the players." Oh well, what can you do? That's the main reason why I avoid usually going through those areas in the forest and whatnot, because locust plagues are actually kind of somewhat less uncommon. They're more common. Anyways, um, whenever I go back there, I'm going to off-screen it until I can find the particular object that I'm looking for in there. And I'll see you in the next installment of the series, and don't worry, we'll boost our speed up sometime here soon, so that way we can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with those locust plagues and knock them down before they even get a scratch in on us. <sighs> Such things are not meant for today, though. Until next time, 